channel, Jennifer Croker, my beloveds, you stand in unprecedented times. You may think you are moving through time as you pass through your days. You may think you are moving through space, as you move from one location to another. In reality, I wish you to know that you are moving through vibrations. You came here to pass through frequencies, to move from lower to higher vibrations. You came here to assist humanity as the collective moves from fear or anger-based thoughts and feelings to more loving, peaceful thoughts and feelings. Now, you are on the divine precipice. Everything is about to change rapidly. Very rapidly. The incoming energies, along with your vibrational soul-based work, has brought humanity to this point, and you are to be congratulated on your persistence and dedication. This change is the change you have been waiting for, it will feel as though the rug has been pulled out from underneath the feet of humanity. There will be enormous shock and confusion. For those of you reading this channel, you have been doing your inner work by clearing the illusions and blockages to your heart. For you, the recovery period, where you find you feet again, will be more rapid. For those who have chosen to experience the everything in one moment, it will be much more confusing and disorientating. It is in alignment with the divine will that both experiences emerge through this process, the gradual awakening with less disorientation and the sudden awakening with greater disorientation. Both are necessary experiences within the divine cosmos. There is not one that is better than the other, they are simply different choices. So, how to flow in this time? How best to navigate these profound, bracing energies? Your heart, your connection to your higher self, is your center return to the heart. When you come from your heart, you align with your intuition, you align with a higher level of knowingness than your mind can fathom. Your mind can create the action steps, but it is not best suited to creating the plan. This is because your mind is less creative than your higher self, it has access to less information than your higher self does, and it is more bound by the artificial programming directed to the lower ego mind. Therefore, it is unable to step forward with courage, gentleness, and insight. You will know what to do and how to act. You will know how to speak and what to say. This knowingness is already within your higher self, ready since before you incarnated. It is your pre-birth pact to be where you are and with whom at each stage, as humanity leaves the old age and moves into the golden age. The two paths through the Great Awakening the Divine Precipice can be seen as two types of movement, through physicality, time or space, and through frequency, vibration. One is the gentle awakening path for the human heart and mind, where the focus is to awaken every one of you to your infinite divine power. Your infinite divine power surpasses all that you can imagine, but it can only be harnessed and used when your heart has been opened and your mind has been cleared of the limitations created of millennia of fear-based programming. This gentler awakening pathway is underway all around you and within you, building momentum towards the sudden awakening path. The sudden awakening path will, indeed, be sudden, unexpected and shocking for almost all of humanity. It's not something that you can second-guess, although you can plan by setting some stores set aside, as many have suggested. More important than the physical preparations are the spiritual preparations you have made as you have deepened your journey of freedom to your soul. Your spiritual skills will determine how you navigate through this time. This is where your ability to access your heart, the pathway to your intuition which is your higher mind will truly emerge. Trust your inner knowing. It has been honed by your higher self for this epic time. Trust yourself. You are ready, all that you really need is within you. Remember that chaos brings about opportunity and change, it allows the obsolete to crumble and the new seeds to shoot forward. And remember this, my beloved, I am always with you.